G'day there everyone, I was here. Now today I want to talk about monsters that I would love to see return in Monster Hunter 6. Now these are just the world monsters, not Rise and all that or any other other game. Just the monsters I've played in World because World was the first game that I actually played in the Monster Hunter series. And it actually blew me away because it was absolutely bloody fantastic. Now the monsters that I want to see come back aren't exactly like, may not be your fan favourites in that. But let me know down below what your monsters would be because some of them... I absolutely love, like, you take Val Hazar. I absolutely love him. The concept of him, he was a war for a lot of people because a lot of people refused to change the way they fought. And he would just absolutely body people because the effluvium. And then you got monsters that I finally got the fight for the first time in Raging Brachydeus. That guy was an absolute boss fight. It was set up as a boss fight, came down like a boss fight, and you were trapped in there. And it was either going to be you or him. One walks out. Two walk in, one walks out. And that was what it was going to be. Because there was no coming out. It was all or nothing with that. Then I finally got that. Oh, you all know. Fatalis and Latrion came. And those two monsters. With the, as the Black Dragons. And just the lore behind it. Actually getting to fight monsters like that. In a game for the first time. Was one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. So. Without any ado. Let's get into it. Let's, let's get into the monsters of... Five monsters that I would love to see come back in Monster Hunter 6. Alright, straight off the bat, look, even though he's not a fan of most, man, the Valhazak line is absolutely cool. You got Black Vale, which is affected by a mushroom sporing system, which affects him so you can't use flashbangs against him until you break the stuff over his eyes. And then you got good old Vale. The well the elder of the Rotten Vale. The one that well controls the Rotten Vale with his effluvium. He is an absolute fun fight. And I know he was used when we first got the end game and Tempered Monsters. And he was just everyone's, you know, punching bag because he was really easy to take down. But I absolutely love it. Not only did you have to have properly prepare for the fight, you had to use effluvium resistance and all that. But his whole concept is really, really cool to me. He's a monster, an elder dragon of... And he's just rotting flesh. He looks like a corpse walking around, and it is so cool. And his design is just absolutely fantastic. And not only that, but he has a really cool intro scene, because everything around him just dies. And it's pretty cool to watch, actually, to be honest with you. Now, that would be one of my, the first monsters I'd pick, if I could choose a monster to come back in Monster Hunter 6. Because Val is one of my all-time favourites. And that means, like, in top of all the Elder Dragons. Valhazark is just unreal, and I hope he does return. Alright, secondly, the second pick I'm going to get is Rage and Bracken. I mean, I started in World and Iceborne, and, you know, went to Rise and all that. Bracky Deus is an unreal monster. I mean, they brought him in in Iceborne, in his regular form, base form, and it was an absolutely cool fight. He was just punching him. He's like a boxing kangaroo type monster with slime that explodes and causes blast blight and explodes on you and all this shit. But then... They released Rage and Bracky Dicks, and mother of god, it was a spectacle and a half of a fight. I mean, it was so cool, but I would love, and I mean this, to see him on an open world map. Could you imagine him just walking around, and then like, he comes across some other, and you're like, see the bathe of these comes in, he goes, BAM, just punches him in the face, and then he's gone. Or have turf wars with other monsters, like Savage Devil Joe, or a Zhang, or even Elder Drake. I mean, I would love to see this guy run around the open map and just get into all types of calamity. Because he would be unreal to see running around the map. And, like, what they did in World with him, that whole fight, especially when all the slimes on the ground, the final stage, man, that makes my heart race. Because you don't want to be near him when he's in the slime because it's going to explode at some point, but you need to be to attack him. And it's just, just there going, oh, fuck, he's going to yell at some point, he's going to scream and activate. And it's just one of the coolest fights I've ever had in this game. And, I mean... I went all the way through, and this guy's fight would be in my top five. I mean, it's up there with Fatalis and Alatron because just how much intensity it brings and all the fun it is. I mean, you can put down traps and all that, but as soon as you hit the last level, all that shit just goes straight out the window, and it's do or die, and Ragey Bracky needs to return. He needs to walk around the open world because he needs to have turf wars because that would just make it so much better. Right, my third monster I want to see return, and I feel like a lot of people do as well, and I know that you're going to say, oh, but it's a flagship. Well, I don't give a fuck because Valkana came back in the very next game. She was in Monster Hunter Rise. So, 
New Gigante needs a return. I mean, he's one of the most coolest monsters Elder Dragons in. He's the Eater of Elders. He's basically out there to make sure that the, the, everything just runs smoothly. He is like just a force of nature, and his fight is just so cool. I don't care if they bring back Runa. I don't care back regular Nergi, but Nergi needs to come back. I mean, you add Runa into it, and you do the event O2 Destruction. And even if you're in endgame gear like Fate Talus gear, he can still throw down. I mean, you've got, now got Metal Spike there, and you can throw him and it causes bleed, so you got to worry about that. You better bring your Sarah Jerky. But it's just all around a really good fight, especially I want to see him go into more turf wars with more elders in like cutscenes. Like when he tried to take out Teostra, but Lunastra saved it in, um, when she first showed up. I mean, shit like that. They have so much potential, and I love Nogigante. And I just want to see him return and just throw down with absolutely everyone in the new game because there's going to be new Elder Dragon, there's going to be a new flagship. And I want to see Nergi just show up and just well, fuck everyone up like he did in this game. Like he showed up at any point just to totally mess with you and just, you know, just fuck your shit up and have a good day. He showed up at the end of the game of Weissborn to kill Shara his folder. He waited till you fought him, you knocked him out. He waited until you took all the armor down. And he jumped in and ripped its throat out. And I want to see that shit again. Alright, my fourth monster I want to see come back because I absolutely love the design, alright? Is Nemiel. I mean, I haven't I didn't get to experience the underwater combat, so I haven't got to see experience like something really cool like that. But this jellyfish elder dragon thing is I just love the design. I love the concept. I just feel like there's so much more potential for what they could do with her because like the Coral Highlands was built specifically around Nemiel, and, and the fight itself was actually really cool. I know people get upset that there are fucking, you know, water around and it sucks it in and out and it can be a pain in the ass, but it's actually a really, really cool fight and I really do enjoy it. So I'm actually hoping that at some point Nemiel will return and we can get even a variant or a subspecies or something, but it's a whole new different type of Nemiel. Because I just really love her design and it just the way the colours pop. Especially when you're battling, like when she's got water in her, she's all vibrant colours. And then when she expels all the water, she goes all dull and stuff. It just it's just a really cool design monster. And I really do hope she returns. Um after Ice Form because I really think that'd be really cool in Monster Hunter 6. Now for my final pick, I mean this May not be your one of your picks you want to see come back but my god i want to see safi jiva return because the damn thing feeds off the bioenergy of fallen elders and areas around it we killed an elatrion in its nest now if elatrion showed up to burn it out kill all the eggs because you know animals only do that either for two reasons one that thing took over its home and it returned home or two Alatrion sensed it and he was scared that something bad's going to happen. So it came to kill Safi before it got to its final stage. And then we show up and we absolutely mess up Alatrion, finally take it down and release all that energy. If Alatrion missed one of those eggs, that thing is going to absorb all that energy and it's just going to become an absolute unit. And they say that black dragons and red dragons are on par with each other. You know. Before we got to Fatalis, we had to take out another Latrion in the den. It's two Latrions in its nest that's released all its energy. So there's got to be something down there, because I don't believe the Xeno line for two stage line. And they did show a trail of a black, you know, Safi, which either was going to be arch tempered or what, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know, I can't really say, but it did look really cool. So there's got to be an egg down there that's going to absorb all that energy from both of those Latrions. And that thing's going to be an absolute fucking unit. And I really do hope that Safi returns, or just some sort of um, Safi variant or something that shows what happened after we killed, you know, the Electrons, because it's going to absorb it. And I would love to see how powerful this thing can really become if it gets enough time to feed on all the energy around it. But that's why I want Safi to return. Plus, you know, its move is pretty cool. Sapphire at the start. That thing looks fucking sick, and I absolutely love it. So hopefully, this Safi will return one day. Alright, everybody. I've been Ozzy from Ozzy Hunter Gaming. That's my top five monsters that I'd love to see return.
So if you've got a different top five, honourable mentions go to Great Jagras and Dodagama because I love them too. You know, Great Jagras because he eats ass and ass and gets real fat, just tries to squish you with his belly and all that. But anyway, they're my top five monsters. I want to hear from everyone out there. What are your top five monsters you want to see? They don't have to be from more nice, but it could be from any other game. Let me know down in the comments. If you do enjoy this, don't forget to like, subscribe. And until next time, I've been Neil Ziana. G'day. Happy hunting.